In this video, I want to demonstrate how to add all the dimensions that were used to create the part. So first, I'm going to come over to the model and click, and then I'm going to open it up. If I double click on the part, all the dimensions will come up. And there's a couple of things I want to point out. And if I select this dimension here and I right click on it, by default, when I add a dimension, it's marked for drawing. If I don't want it to show up in the drawing, I have to uncheck this. I'm going to click in white space, and now with that unchecked, notice how the colors changed from blue to purple. So I'll right click on it, and I'll go back and turn on the mark for drawing. Double click on this one more time. Remember, the blue dimensions when I double click on the part are the feature dimensions, so in this case, the extrusion dimension. The black dimensions are the sketch dimensions. So if I right click on this one, again, we can see it's marked for drawing. If I uncheck that and double click on it, again, it's gone purple now because it's no longer marked for the drawing. So I'm going to right click on this one more time and mark it for the drawing. And then I'm going to control tab back to my drawing. Now that I've explained what marked for drawing means, I want to go ahead and I want to add the dimensions that were used to create the part. So the first thing I'll do is I'll come to the annotation ribbon and I'll select model items. I'm going to scroll down a bit. I'm going to say the source is the entire model and that they should be imported into all views. Down here, I set up what I want imported. So this first one is on by default and that's any dimension that's marked for drawing. I want the checkbox on to eliminate duplicates. I can also import whole wizard profiles all wizard locations aren't marked for the drawing, so ones I had unchecked and gone purple. Whole callouts, revolutions and instant counts, tolerance dimensions, and all these annotations as well. For now, I just want to focus on the ones that are marked for drawing. So with the entire model selected and this selected to place into all views, the next thing to do is to say OK. And all the dimensions I use to create the part will populate the drawing. So I should stress a couple of things at this point. These may or may not be enough dimensions to properly make the part. The dimensions we need to create the part are not necessarily the ones we need to manufacture the part. So we also need to take a minute and look at them and neaten them up. They're not very neat yet, and there may not be dimensioned the way I would like it dimensioned. So in the next video, we'll look at how we neaten these up and how we double check it for accuracy.